Charlene was the uh, first, she and, and Hamilton Holmes from Turner High School, they were recruited to go to integrate the university system. And so it took, I think, 18 months in courts, but they were eventually admitted by court order. After the riot, there were, um, I think, state patrols who who accompanied Charlene Hamilton to class because the um, there was still a tense environment. The students said that they were not going to be violent anymore, but they were not going to welcome anyone black anymore either. And they stuck to that, and I received the same treatment. I was going to the library one evening, and as I approached the steps, these guys linked arms as though to bar me from entering. And one said, I smell a dog, and the other said, another one said, I smell a, the N-word. And it was very humiliating, but I just kept going. I said, I'm going to be the bulldog I'm supposed to be. And if I have to barge into their, their linked arms, I'll do that. But they broke rank when I got to the top step. I didn't get much studying done that night because it was very upsetting. The way I feel about the University of Georgia now is that it's my, it's my alma mater. And that's because it finally accepted me. I never disavowed it. But now uh, it seems that things are just blossoming. And this most recent honor is one I could never have imagined. I, I really can't wrap my head around it because as I said, I could never have imagined it. And then after being forgotten for so long, this, you know, I've gotten honorary doctorate. There's a tree planted in my honor. There's a lecture in my name. All of these things, the President's Medal, which is one of the highest awards by the second president who has acknowledged me, and that's the current president, Jerry Moorhead. He and Dr. Adams are the only two presidents. When I was there, uh, O.C. Atahol, whose name is on the building that is being named for me. It's ironic because I never met him. He never, um, but he was the president. He probably would be rolling over in his grave knowing that that building is going to be named in my honor or the college is going to be named in my honor. But um, it's, it's surreal. 